Okay, so um, hello everyone. Uh, it's my pleasure to be with you this morning. Um, actually, Sharon Rose Master Giselle Valle is uh, one of the persons I met in Atomy online, which uh, was always available when I have questions, and especially during the earlier part of my uh, Atomy journey. So I hope I am also the same uh, for her. So about Two weeks ago, uh, she asked me if I can be with you in your morning meeting. And she said that, uh, I hope I can share with you why I am doing this. Why am I doing Atomy in spite of my busy schedule? So uh, that is my task for this morning to share with you my story. So let me share my screen. Okay. So my name is uh, Dr. Felicia Cristina Magno. I am a diamond master in atomy and the center head of Mindoro Center. So I have, uh, I'm going to tell you about why am I doing this. So go, before that, um, this is my story. This is my life before atomy. Uh, I was born and raised in Tiwi Albay. So I am a pure-blooded Bicolana. I had my education there until med school in 1993. So medyo matagal na. And in 1997, I started my four-year residency training in Ubigaini in uh, San Juan de Dios Hospital in Manila. That's um, Ross Boulevard Corner Edge Extension. So in 2020, I, grad I finished my training. I went back to Bicol, to Legaspi. I had my... Uh, private practice there as an Ubigaini for two years. But in 2003, I went back to Manila for another one year training in Ubigaini ultrasound. That's in an MCU. Same year, I got married in 2003 and I didn't go back to Legaspi anymore. I transferred my practice here in Mindoro until now. And we were blessed with a, two boys who are now in now 16 and 18 years old they are about to enter college the eldest and grade 11 for my uh, second one so they are moving to manila this coming school year so um i am a practicing obigaini obigaini sonologist and my work uh is from monday to saturday usually my schedule is first few hours in the morning i do my rounds in the hospital and I also schedule usually I usually schedule my surgeries in the morning before I start my clinic and clinic starts at around 10 to 10 30 until 3 or until uh, I finish my my patients but if, then after that especially these days I do atomy in my spare time but of course sometimes I also have procedures after my clinic so my life before Atomy is quite good. We are uh, quite comfortable with our life. And this is my clinic uh, at the ground floor. We have also a spa on the second floor. And the third is where Atomy um, Indoor Center is, is right now. Okay. So before pandemic, before my life in Atomy, uh, one of our passions is traveling. So we are ready. I've uh, been to around 27 countries and uh, plan to, to go more, to go places somewhere. But of course, because of pandemic, it has been stopped. So, I mean, during the time before pandemic, before Atomy, I was not looking for another uh, business. But God's plan is always the best, you know. Um, in 2020, May, I met Atomy just because of a post of my friend Melody, who is based in San Diego. She is a classmate in med school. She posted a picture with her long, beautiful hair. So I commented and I said that she, uh, and then she told me that she is using Atomy shampoo. During that time, Atomy was already four years in the Philippines, but I have never heard about Atomy. So I ordered online in, in Lazada. And then she told me that to cancel my, my order because she said that Atomy, this shampoo can also be purchased online here in the Philippines. 
So she referred me to a common friend who is also here with us. She is uh, Gerard Mirandilla, who was a sales master during that time. And now she, he is already uh, Sharon Rose master. So he helped me register because he said that I can register without paying anything. So I registered and he helped me purchase my very first order, which is the hair and body set. So when the product arrived, I was impressed with the packaging and that it looks classy, it looks expensive for the price. So when we used it, we loved it. So we ordered some more and lahat ng in-order namin, we just love it. We shifted brand even during that time. We, we uh, shifted to our toothbrush, toothpaste. We just loved everything that we tried. So even our detergents during the time we, we shifted brand. So I was, I, I got interested also with, with the business when, when uh, our, my mentor, SRM Gerard, uh, allowed me or, or encouraged me to attend meetings and also do meetings also. So that was in May of 2020, just two months after, just a month after, for the very first time, I got an elevated blood sugar level and cholesterol level. And I was also looking into the health products of Atomy. So of course, when I received, I, I saw that result, I, I told my friend, internist friend, and so of course she advised me to start taking um, metformin and medicine for cholesterol. But because I saw some, some um, feedbacks that Hemohim has been helping a lot of uh, medical conditions and even uh, for, diabetic, for diabetics. So I tried first using the Hemohim. And within a week from the time I started taking, my blood sugar level went down. For my cholesterol, after a month, I took again, it's lower, but it has returned back to normal after two months. So I was impressed by the quality, even for the health products. So I started sharing, started sharing it with, to my friends, to, some, to my, some of my patients, and that was how it started. And within two months after I started sharing it, from the time I started joining Atomy, I already became a sales master through the help, of course, of our partners and the encouragement of, my, of our mentors, uh, Dian, Sharon Rose Master Gerard and, and uh, a lot more in our group. So that was how I met Atomy. Just uh, four months after I met Atomy, I got sick. I was diagnosed with breast cancer, stage 1C. And then of course I had surgery and then chemotherapy after. My chemotherapy lasted until December of 2020. And during that time, of course, I have to slow down a bit. Although I continue to see patients here in my clinic uh, in between chemo, if, if, uh, if my condition permits, because I know that uh, one of the blessings that God gave me is to meet Atomy before I got sick. So I was taking him with him even during my chemotherapy. Of course, some of you will, will, will uh, think, and of course, I, some of you, most of you experiences the sharing a hemohem to patients who are undergoing chemotherapy, their oncologist would let them stop it. But in my, in my case, my oncologist asked me if I am taking hemohem, and I told her that yes, she could not tell me to stop. I just stopped other, other um, antioxidants and other, other multivitamins, but I didn't stop taking Hemohem because I know, I've heard, I've read that Hemohem was, um, was uh, researched and developed actually for those patients who need to improve their immune system, and especially those who are undergoing treatment like chemotherapy and radiation. radiation. So I did not stop and continue taking it. Um, but of course, during that time, I stopped uh, doing procedures and admissions in the hospitals because especially there's COVID, but I am still uh, doing consultations here in the clinic. And when I lie load, I, I actually stopped joining meetings in Atomy because it was, of course, I, did, I, cannot, be, uh, so, I cannot have a so stressful life. And my mentors understand that. And during that time, I was able to watch more uh, videos and 
read more about Atomy and I realized how good the company is and how uh, good the passive income that they are offering is how good it is. And then so I, I really thought of, uh, because you know, I was actively doing my profession, but when I got sick, everything stopped. And I thought that what if I could not go back to that, uh, that uh, active practice that I was doing. So even though we have, we have savings, but of course, money, money, it drains so fast. So this passive income has uh, brought my attention. So, and then I said, I thought also that um, if I continue doing Atomy and become successful here, I can pass the business to my children when the time comes. So it was really a good thing for me. So when I went back to, to my uh, private practice and then January of last year, I, I became active again in Atomy and then joined meetings again. And then my mentors advised me to, to uh, put up a center here in Mindoro. So March of 2021, we opened our Atomy Center. Yes. So the, the center has been helping. Of course, you also knew, some of you have centers also. It has helped a lot of our members here because of the free shipping and then because it's an education center, uh, it has been helping them with, with sharing the, the, the business. Of course, during the past months, because of pandemic, it is really quite limited, but now it's, it's uh, getting there again. So these are, one, these are some of the reasons why I do Atomy. And of course, um, the three generation inheritance. And then I also love the, the concept of Atomy to have a well-balanced life because, you know, uh, it's, we can always hear from our chairman too that our life here on earth is just passing. What is more important is our life after death. And then we, could, we should make our life here in, on, on earth meaningful. Not just we, have, we should have a well-balanced life, not just financially, spiritually. And of course, we should have time for family, time for everything. And that is what is really uh, so good in this company to live, for us to live a balanced life, well-balanced life. So, uh, yeah, this is the third generation inheritance that I really love about this company. Then this is our center. And then this is our uh, recent activities in, in our center. We do facial and then we also have a regular meeting, Zoom meetings. And usually at Friday at six, eight, eight o'clock to onwards every Friday and we do it every week. Of course, there are some um, others, other Zoom meetings for our group every day actually, but for Midori Center, we do it Fridays. So um, what's next for me in Atomy? I am already here. I am doing this much as I can. And of course, what's next for me? Well, I plan to continue to dream big, stay focused to the vision of success here in Atomy. Um, I consider myself successful in my career, but I still want to be successful here because of the reasons I have mentioned earlier. So I want to continue to use the absolute quality and absolute, absolute price products of Atomy and be more consistently persistent in sharing to others about the products and the business. Okay, and of course, I plan to continue to help and motivate business partners and find ways how we can grow together as a team. So um, to try to do more mastership challenge myself, because I've heard from one of the lectures of Sharon Rose Master Lisel, to as much as we can do more challenge, because there is a saying that um, it's better to aim high and miss than to aim low and hit. So of course, I also want to motivate and support business partners to do the same. 
And um, what is my vision after 10 years? I want to see myself become a crown master or imperial master. And during that time, I believe that I am already retired from my active ob work. Probably doing surgeries for free on missions. And still tra to travel the world, not just for leisure, but also to visit business partners. And actually, I am, uh, I am the charter president of a Rotary Club here in Calapan. We have three, and R is the youngest. R is the youngest, just six years. We do projects to help people, but of course, I want to donate and more and create more projects through Rotary and help more people in the field of education. Uh, I, at the moment, I am already doing a little bit uh, helping, helping um, Mangyan in their education. Actually, a couple was, was studying college. The, the husband already graduated and passed the board, boards in, in education. Now the wife is also studying. It's, she's a Mangyan, I'm also helping, supporting her. So I will, I want to do more of this, not just here in Calapan, but I also want to, to help in our uh, town in Bicol, in Tiwi Albay. And of course, donate more to church and other religious organizations. So that's what I want my vision in the future, living a balanced life with my, with my family, my children, with whatever they want to pursue. But I am still will try to, to, uh, to bring them to Atomy because I know from my experience that me, even I am already a doctor, a practicing doctor, I still do this. So I guess they would also uh, see, see the beauty of this company. Okay, so, but I will not stop them. Of course, I want them to finish their education, but if they want to do this, I will, I will encourage them. Okay, so success is, not, is no accident, right? It is hard work, especially here in Atomy, it's not easy, but, we, but with the success system, I know we can do it. We have to persevere because it's not easy, especially if we get rejected uh, most of the time, we have to persevere. And of course, we have to learn, continue learning, and continue studying and also sacrifice. We have to sacrifice. And most of all, we have to love what we are doing because we cannot just do this because our mentors are telling us to do it. We should love what we, we are doing to become successful here. So that is from Pele. Okay, so that's all for now. Um, I hope I was able to inspire you or share with you some thoughts. Okay, that will guide you or help you. Okay, so yes, that's all for now. Ayan, napaka amazing naman ng na share ni Doc na palakpakan po natin. At talaga naman po na amaze ako kasi even though na talagang may kaya na po sila sa buhay, nakikita pa rin po niya yung vision dito sa paggawa ng ating atomy business at gusto pa po niyang makatulong sa mas maraming tao. Nakaka-amaze po talaga kasi may mga tao pa lang ganun, no? kahit may kaya na, gusto pa rin ipagpatuloy yung paggawa ng atomy business. Sana lahat mag-open din po yung mind para makatulong po tayo sa mas marami at mas maabot po natin yung mga kailangan ng mga tulong. And then, hindi ko na po patatagalin kasi alam kong excited po kayong magtanong sa ating VIP speaker for today. Kaya mahaba-haba po yung oras natin na binigay talaga ni Doc para sa inyong question and sa kanyang pagsagot. Kaya mag-raise hand po yung gustong magtanong para po matawag ko po. Yes, ma'am. Good morning. Good morning po. Yes, Sir Aldan. Yes, uh, ako kasi ma'am is... Uh, uh, good morning, doktora. Good morning. A ako kasi ma'am, mayroon akong problem sa lungs. And then, uh, two years ago, natanggalan ako ng tubig sa lungs, uh, pneumonia. And then, uh, my doctor is, hindi ako pinapagamit ng food supplement. So, ano po yung bilang doktor po kayo? Ano yung ma-recommended po ninyo sa akin sa food supplement? Okay. So, magandang umaga po, Sir Raldan. Yes. Uh, dito po kasi sa Atomy, we have this hemohem. 
Ang himohim po talaga kasi the main purpose of this is to improve our immune system. Kaya po, di ba, um, pangalan niya himohim because hemoglobin, unang-una, pinapa-increase niya ang oxygen sa ating blood. Hematopoiesis is production po ng red blood cells and white blood cells. Yung white blood cells na yun po, ito ang immune cells natin. In your case po, you need to improve your immune system. Kasi pag improve po ang ating immune system, nire-repair niya mismo ang ating body. Our, our supplement is the gamot, but it will improve our, our body, help our body to, to repair. And there are studies po, you can even uh, read sa Google, na it has helped people, not just those who have uh, cancer and diabetes, pati po sa mga lung problems actually. I have read somewhere na uh, yung kahit sa mga smokers, it improves, Mer meron siyang anti-inflammatory, nire-repair niya po, and nakakatulong sa mga na, na hindi magkaroon ng chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, yung COPD, kahit nung sa may mga asthma, kahit sa may mga, uh, mga smokers, nakakatulong po ito. So I do not believe na it will not help you. Kaya actually po, marami din, ako doctor ako, pero I understand the other doctors na ayaw talaga ng mga, mga, ng mga ganitong klaseng supplements. But I do believe na itong himuhim, iba po ito eh. Well-researched. Well-researched po ito ng Korea, Korean government. And before ito nilabas, talagang makikita natin may supporting documents na nakakatulong sa ating immune system. So I believe na itong himuhim po, makakatulong po ito sa inyo. You don't need to tell your doctor that you're taking it. Makakatulong po ito sa inyo. I believe so. Okay, okay thank you ma'am. You're welcome po. Ayan. Thank you so much, Dr. Corstina, sa pagsagot sa tanong ni Sir Roldan. Talagang na nalaman din po ako sa inyong answer para may share din po namin sa same na problem. And ngayon po, proceed tayo sa ating second question. Yes, Ma'am Liberty Pataxio. Okay. Uh Good morning, Doc. Good morning. Po. Question, yes po. Ang question ko lang po, ma'am, kasi I have a cousin na suffering sa endometriosis. Yan po. Uh, gusto ko lang po sanang malaman kung uh, hindi po siya nagkakaanak for ilang years na po silang kasal. Hindi po siya nagkaanak and parang may, uh, yun po yung problem. Ano po ba yung endometriosis? triosis and what supplements ang pwede ko pong i-recommend sa kanya. Okay. Good morning po, Ma'am Libay. Uh, ang endometriosis po kasi, ito po ay condition kung saan yung endometrial cells na nakikita dapat sa loob ng lining ng matres, sa loob ng matres natin, sa lining, pumupunta siya sa ibang lugar, sa labas ng matres. Pwede siya mag-implant sa ovaries, sa other parts ng ating, sa labas ng matres. So every time po na nagme-menstruate, nagbi-bleeding yung matres sa yung menstruation, nagbi-bleed din po yung mga endometriosis na yon sa labas ng matres. And nagko-cause po siya ng iba-iba. Pwedeng magkaroon siya ng bukol sa ovary na nag-endometriosis din, nagaging chocolate cyst. Meron po mga endometriosis na gi-implant sa mga fallopian tubes kaya hirap magbuntis. So it's also one of the reasons why there is yung infertility pag may endometriosis. Kasi dahil inflammation po yan, nagdidikit-dikit, kaya minsan hindi na makagalaw yung fallopian tube, nagiging cause ng infertility. So ang issue niya po definitely, meron din po yan na pain during menstruation. So ako po kasi, I believe na itong himuhim, it can hold also help her. Kasi by experience po, nabibigay po rin sa ibang patients, especially yung sa sister ko na dati, Uh, whole day hindi siya makalabas pag may menstruation siya. And na-try na, na kong i-share sa kanya kasi dati ayaw din naman niya. Eh, medyo skeptical. Alam niyo naman by, through experience natin sa family, hindi masyado agad naniniwala. Pero last, last January po, bumisita sila dito. So na, napatry ko siya ng himuhim. Sabi niya after a month, half day na lang daw yung masakit. Tapos sa following month, hindi na daw masakit. O konting-konti na lang. So, yun po, ah, uh, ang himuhim po, I believe, makakatulong din in that aspect. Pero yung cause of the infertility, kailangan po ma-work up din kasi hindi ko rin alam kung yun lang ang reason for the infertility. Pero makakatulong sa kanya kasi syempre to improve the immune system and regards sa, sa mga pains niya, baka makatulong, makalesed sa pain. 
and hopefully makatulong din sa fertility. Kaya lang hindi po ito gamot na talagang sasabihin na magkakaanak kapag uminom ka niya. Hindi po yan. False hope po ang gabibigay natin sa kanila. Pero at least it can help. And then through the help also siguro ng, ano, ng, ng kanyang ubigay ni, i-check din kung ano pang other possible causes kung nag-ovulate pa siya yung mga ganun pong mga problems. Ah, welcome po. Welcome po. Thank you again, Doc, sa pagsagot ng question. And proceed po tayo sa third na magtatanong. Yes, Sales Master Joyce Tapia. Yes, uh, good morning po uh, sa ating lahat. And thank you very much po to our speaker, Dr. Pin Magnum, sa napakaganda pong vision lecture. Talaga pong uh, nalaman po namin yung insight po or vision po ng isang Uh, ta isang successful people na po na in the field of medicine that is doing atomy business. And uh, my question po is, uh, dahil nakita ko po doon that you are an ob -gyn. I have this problem po kasi whenever I have my menstruation, although yung ginagamit ko is yung ating herb day na large, kasi po every time na nagkakaroon po ako is sobrang dami po nang lumalabas. And I have this thinking na kapag meron ako, kailangan mag-stop muna ako ng pag Uh, take ng regular hemohem every morning kasi baka doon mas dumadami pa yung dugo na lumalabas. And is it right po ba, Dok, na i-stop ko muna whenever I have my menstruation? Kasi sobrang dami po ng lumalabas po. Yes. Okay. Hello, Ma'am ma uh, Julian. Um, hindi na ba po siguro kailangan na i-stop? Kasi, di ba, kung malakas ang menstruation mo, it can also improve or increase your hemoglobin hematocrit kasi ang magiging problem lang naman pag malakas ang blood flow is anemia. Pag malakas, di ba, puputla ang dugo. And, uh, hindi naman, I don't think na yun ang makakapagpalakas, yung himo yung makakapagpalakas ng flow. So, uh, maganda rin po sana na ma-check by ultrasound kung, kung ano, para ma-check kung ano ang ibang nagpo-post ng increased blood flow. Kasi, ang i-rule out natin dyan is mga masses like myoma, polyps, Or at least alam mo kung wala namang problem, baka hormone na lang. So kung, kung halimbawa, continuously ka nagtitake ng himuhim, pero ganun pa din, or talagang very heavy, magpa-check na lang siguro sa ubi ni eh, para ma-advise din ng ibang, ibang way kung anong makakatulong sa iyo. Pero ay, sa palagay ko yung pag-stop ng himuhim, hindi naman kailangan. Kasi nakakatulong, baka nga makatulong pa siya sa iyong hormonal imbalance kung yun ang cause ng iyong ano, increased blood flow. Thank you, Doc. Welcome po. And thank you again, Doc Tora, sa pagsagot. And proceed ulit tayo sa ating next question. Yes, Sales Master Alice. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, Doc. Ang um, question ko, Doc, Kasi meron po akong friend na nag-undergo ng uh, dialysis. Um, yung hemohim po kasi in ko. Tapos uh, ilan daw po ang dapat inumin for ano, yung nagda-dialysis, Dok? Um, actually po, by experience, nakapag-sure din po akong ng hemohim sa diabetic na nag-dialysis. Ah, uh, ang advice ko po sa kanya is the same po, yung ating twice a day pa rin. Tap kasi po, syempre um, hindi ko rin alam kung ano ang although syempre naka eh, makaka-improve yan, di ba? Naniniwala ako na makaka-improve. Kaya lang hindi po ako sure with increasing the dose kasi especially mga kidney patients, baka hindi ako sure baka mamaya eh may mga levels na tumaas. So maganda siguro monitor din ang kanilang mga mga CREA and mga blood works para ma-adjust ma -adjust kung, kung okay pa lang mag-increase. Mag Pero ito po, twice a day din lang. Hindi ako masyado nag a ng madami. Uh, twice a day din lang po yung in, in, ano niya, in, 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 itong, actually doctor po siya na nagdadialysis ngayon. Tutuloy-tuloy po siya pag-take. Twice a day lang. Thank you so much, Doc. Welcome po. Thank you so much again, Dr. Ra, sa pagsagot. And meron pa po bang gustong magtanong? Samantalahin nyo na po yung pagkakataon dahil ngayon ay libre ang ating katanungan. Pero pag nagtanong po kayo sa ibang mga doktor, di ba po, pag may consultation, talagang mahal. Kaya 
samantalahin po natin yung pagkakataon na binigay ng ating VIP speaker na si Doc Sin para magdanong po tayo. Habang wala pa po, question ko lang po, Doc. Uh, sa mga may PCOS or yung may mga irregular menstruation, ano yung mairecommend nyo sa kanila na na supplements and ilan po yung dosage po? Sa, sa, usually po, sa akin, sa mga patients ko may PCOS, uh, pwede rin po mag mag recommend ng himuhin. Meron din po naman niya na kasama sa mga search natin sa Google. Kaya lang, usually, ang nagiging problem is nalilimit sila sa, sa budget. So, kung namamahalan sila, nagre-recommend ako ng ibang, ng ibang uh, gamot. Kasi meron na rin ngayon. Kasi ang picos naman po kasi, hindi naman siya actually sakit. Kaya lang, hormonal imbalance nga dahil hindi nag-ovulate. So, maraming mga mga associated na mga symptoms like irregular ang regla, hindi magregla, o di kaya minsan spotting ng mahaba, o, mis, o mostly hindi basta mabuntis. So, depende po na lang sa kanilang uh, sitwasyon na limbawa yung may picos, may, ana, uh, may asawa, gusto magkaanak. So, ibang gamot ang ibigay, pampa, pampaitlog. Supportive lang yung ating mga supplements, pero hindi po talaga uh, doon lang kung hindi lang yung ating himuhim, hindi lang yung ating uh, sao palmetto. Although usually ngayon, kasi dahil nga hindi na masyadong available sao palmetto, kung ano ang available, kung mostly binibigay ko na lang for men's health talaga. Kasi share ko po sa inyo, may pasyente po ako last year na yung asawa niya pinainom namin ng sao palmetto. After three months, kasi pag nagpapainom po ng sao palmetto, dapat kumpituhin yung three months. Kasi 90 days po ang lifespan ng sperm. Pag after 90 days, bago na ang ang ano niyan, bago na ang mga sperm niyan after 90 days. Yung patient ko po after 90 days, nag-increase yung kanyang sperm, nag-improve with the number, sa quality. So maganda po talaga din itong sao palmetos. So ngayon, sa, hindi ko na siya masyadong nabibigay sa mga picos. Ibang supplement, ibang gamot na lang po. And kung kaya mag-himuhim, yun. Kasi halimbawa po kasi mag-prescribe ako ng himuhim tapos meron pa akong prescription na iba, baka hindi na mabili. Kaya pag himuhim ay pag gimpi ko, hindi ako masyado sa sa himuhim lang. Ayun. Okay po sa pagtagot ng question, Doc. Meron din pong tanong dito sa Facebook. Sabi, tanong ko po sana kasi pag may buwan ng dalaw, yung anak daw po niya sumasakit yung puson. Ano po kayang magandang i-recommend daw po? Himuhim po. Himuhim. Actually, meron din po akong, meron din experience yung, yung kasama din natin, si salesmaster Doc Pinky De Alca from Sorsogon. Friend ko po siya. Isa sa mga una kong nashira ng atomy. And siya po, nag, nag prescribe din siya ng himuhim doon sa mga, may mga severe dysmenorrhea. Tapos yung isa niyang nashira hindi kayang bumili, hindi kaya uminom ng regular ng himuhim every day. So ang ginawa niya pong advice is one week before mag-menstruate, nagpapabigay na siya ng one sa shaper day. And during the time na may menstruation, yung one week, two times a day, alam niyo nag-improve din po yung patient. Kasi kaya niya na follow up din kasi kasamahan niya sa, sa hospital. And yun ang problem before severe dysmenorrhea. Kahit ganun, pong, kahit ganun na dosage, yung one week before and then during the time na may menstruation, one, twice a day, nag-improve din po. So, doon sa mga, sa mga masyashira natin na hindi kaya mag-continue sa twice a day, itry nyo din po yung ganun. Tapos, i-follow up din kung nag-respond sa ganun. Baka sakali na makatulong din. Thank you so much, Doc, sa pagsagot sa question ng masay... Facebook, no? Another question po, Doc. Yung sa Sephora Queen po, Doc, uh, kanina nyo siya madalas na nire-recommend na intake. And ilang I'm soft gels po? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Na-distract na ako. Ano nga po? Yung sa Sephora Queen po, Doc, natin, yung Atomy Sephora Queen, saan nyo po siya madalas na nire-recommend at ilan po yung pag-intake? Uh, uh, Sephora Queen po, di ba, design po siya sa mga perimenopausal. So, for those na may mga symptoms na like mga hot flashes and yung uh, sa mga perimenopause. Once a day lang po ang inirecommend ko. Kasi yun po ang halagay dun sa kanyang ano, once a day lang, one capsule per day. So yun lang po. Pero meron po akong before na sinayran, sabi niya twice a day niya iniinom. 
Pero ako, pag nire-recommend ko, nagpa-prescribe ako, once a day, ko lang po nilalagay. Kasi yun ang nakalagay doon sa ating uh, recommendation. One capsule per day. Yung mga, may mga per, mga hot flashes, yung mga malapit na mag-bends, tapos, or may kakastop lang na menstruation, tapos ay, uh, sumasakit ulo. Yung mga ganun bang, mga symptoms ng perimenopausal. Sa, sa kanila ko po binibigay. Yun. Thank you po again, Doc. And may nagtaas din po ng kamay si Ma'am Donna May Victoria, no? Ma'am Donna, may pakianmute po. Okay, balikan na lang po kasi parang wala siyang signal. And si Ma'am Liberty Patakasi. Uh, Doc, ako po ulit. Uh, tatanungin ko lang po, uh, meron na naman po akong friend na uh, is there such thing as mababa ang matres? Tapos po, uh, yung couple po ay pareho silang overweight. Uh, reason din po ba yun? Bakit for nine years na po yata, hindi pa rin po sila magkaanak. Okay. Apo. So, yung unang-una po, yung mababang matres, kung ang ibig po nilang sabihin is yung buwa, meron pong buwa. Yun ang mababang matres. Pero ang buwa po kasi, sakit po yan ng mga may, ng mga may edad na ng maraming anak. Yan po, dahil sa menopause, weak na ang support ng matres kaya sila bumababa, lalo na yung mga nanganganak na sa bahay, tapos hindi na re-repair, tapos uh, parati nagbubuhat. Yung pong buwa, yun ang pwede natin tawagin na mababa ang matres. Pero once na may buwa, ba talaga pong lalabas-lalabas na yan? Pero dun po sa mga wala pang anak, sasabihin hindi magkaanak dahil mababa ang matres, wala pong katotohanan yun. Ang matres po kasi natin, nandun po yan sa dulo ng vagina. Ang dulo ng vagina, nandun ang cervix. Ang kwelyo ng matres ang lowermost portion ng matres. Yan po ay nakakabit dyan. Hindi po yan bababa. Bababa lang po yan pag may buwa na. So ang matres po natin, nakakabit yung cervix which is the lowermost portion ng matres natin. Gumagalaw-galaw lang po yung upper part kasi yun ang hindi nakakabit. Loose po yung upper part. Ang nakakabit lang sa ano is the cervix. So, wala pong mangyayari kung kayo magpapamasahe, magpapahilot kasi hindi po yan maitataas kasi para makataas yan, kailangan putulin yung sa dulo ng vagina yung cervix para tumaas. Pero hindi naman po yan mangyayari. No? Kaya yung mga nagpapahilot po, lalong nabubugbubug ang matres, hindi po tataas ang matres niyan. Kasi nakafix po yan dyan sa dulo ng vagina. Okay? Kung hindi po siya nagkakaanak, infertility, magpacheck up po para malaman kung ano mga possible causes. Kung hindi man po sa kanya... In, kung, nag, kung, kung siya po ba ay nag-ovulate, i-check yan kung nag-ovulate siya, kung hindi man, anong possible causes na iba. And halimbawa po, yung sa pagtaba naman, marami pong malalaki na nagkakaanak. So hindi naman po yan lahat, hindi naman po siya sabihin na pag mataba, hindi na magkakaanak. Hindi naman. Although, yung mga may mga conditions like PCO, PCOS, na yung sa hormonal din, na mas lumalaki sila, pero hindi lang naman yung paglaki. Kasi marami po tayong kilala na maraming anak kahit malaki, di ba? O, so, hindi po yung pagiging malaki. Okay. Tapos hanapin na lang kung ano ang cause. Kaya kailangan magpa-check up. Okay. Apo. Thank you po. Thank, Thank you, you Doc. Thank you so much, Doctor sa pagsagot. At talagang marami ko po kaming natututunan. And bibigyan ko po ng last chance yung magtatanong. Bago ko po ibigay ang screen sa ating Sharon Rose Master ng Rizal Valle. Last one po na nasa Zoom na magpapot. Okay, wala na po ba? Kung wala na po, ibigay ko po muna ang screen sa ating very own sponsor, Sharon Rose Master ng Rizal Valle. Ayan, good morning po sa ating lahat. Good morning, Doc. Thank you so much po sa pagbibigay nyo ng oras para sa Aril Marikina Aja Aja Center. Ano po. So si Doc po lagi rin namang uh, ano sa akin, kung baga laging open din naman sa akin. Kung halimbawa may mga tanong ako, tanong nyo, tanong din ng mga members ko about 
yun nga kasi si Doc is isang OB. So yung mga may tanong na ganun, lagi ko siyang tinatanong ganun. So uh, lagi din open siya. Kaya lagi din akong open to help kung meron man akong maitutulong din sa team niya or sa kanya mismo. So thank you so much again, Doc. And nagkaroon po ng free consultation <laughs> ang mga nandito sa loob ng ating Zoom ngayon. Diba? So thank you. Kasi pag pumunta pa kayo sa doktor ay sa OB, di ba? Ang mahal. So, nagkaroon tayo ng free consultation ngayon. Free lang, free service ni Doc. And maraming maraming salamat, Doc. And talagang wala nang mas bibisi pa kay Doc. Kasi meron na siyang trabaho. May mga pasyente siya na kailangang bantayan. Tapos, tayo, uh, karamihan sa atin nasa bahay lang. Bakit may rason pa tayo na hindi gawin itong business? Kung siya nga na meron, uh, actually yung mga, yun na, kung Halimbawa po, katulad niya na meron na siyang pera, di ba, meron na siyang pera, and then um, meron na silang kaya before pa ng atomy, is ginagawa pa rin yung atomy. Anong rason natin para hindi makita yung vision ng mga taong ganito? Kasi yun din yung sinasabi ni CEO, kung meron na kayong kakayahan sa buhay um, at nakakapag-share na kayo sa inyong mga kapwa, is kahit hindi na kayo mag-atomy, pero kung may kakayahan kayo sa buhay at gusto nyo pang magbigay sa kapwa nyo, mag-atomy kayo. Kasi ito yung magandang tool para makapag-share pa tayo. Diba? So, kasi ito naman yung tinuturo sa atin po kababalance life. And na-inspire po ako doon sa kay Doc na kapag ka, later on, pag mag-retire na siya, magkakaroon siya ng, ng, ano, ng uh, yung parang voluntary uh, mga pag, yung opera sa mga mga pit mga tao na hindi walang kakayahan. So parang iniisip ko din uh, I am teacher by profession baka pagka naabot ko na yung gusto kong maabot dito sa atomy talaga is kahit hindi ko love yung pagiging teacher eh, baka mag-volunteer din ako sa mga remote areas to help people yung mga bata especially na hindi marunong pa magbasa yung ganun. I don't know pero na-inspire ko ako doon sa sinabi ni Doc. Ngayon yung profession niya kasi ako po talaga um, uh, to be honest teacher by profession pero parang hindi ko love yung teaching. Nai-stress ako kaya kaya pinili ko tong atomy talagang nag-resign po ako as teacher and then um yun po nag uh, actually para nagagamit ko pa rin naman yung teacher kasi nagpa-nagse-seminar tayo di ba? So nai-share pa rin naman. Kaso parang gusto ko ngang bumalik doon sa basic na ba, may reason din siguro kung bakit ako pinatapos ni Lord na maging teacher para bumalik din doon. Doon, later on, pag makuha ko yung gusto kong kunin sa atomy. Kasi as of the moment po, uh, ito talaga yung tool na nakikita ko na magkaroon ako ng balanced life. And then after I got my balanced life here in atomy, then I could do what I can have kasi meron na akong freedom. I could do what I want to do. Kasi meron na akong freedom. So, thank you for the inspiration, Doc. Sana nakita po ng lahat ng nandito sa Zoom na si Doc nga busy after pa ng trabaho niya tsaka pa siya nag atomi Pero may time pa siya para gawin tong atomi So, sana yun po kasi yung purpose, Doc. Bakit mo pa ginagawa? Eh, kasi may ganito ka na. Ang, al ang, ang alam ko, yung building din nila is magno building. So, may building na sila, may passive income na sila. Bakit ginagawa pa rin nila yung atomi Diba? So, sana yun lang yung nakit makita natin. Ang daming reason ni Doc na binig, bi, kin, pinakita sa atin. Pero sana makita natin yon And thank you so much again, Doc, for this time. So, thank you, Toy. Thank you so much. Yun lang po yung masasabi ko, Doc. And to all, thank you so much po. And I would like to acknowledge also yung sponsor po ni Doc Tin. Ano? Parang gusto kong kumasyal sa Casa Atomy nila sa USA. <laughs> Sharon Rosemaster Gerard. Nakita ko kasi Casa Atomy. Wow! Parang gusto ko rin magkaroon ng, magkaroon ng Casa Atomy sa Pilipinas and Casa Atomy sa, sa, sa Korea pagdating ng araw. So thank you so much, uh, Dr. Uh, Dr. Tin. And also to yung sponsor niya po, si SRM Gerard. Mirandilia. Thank you so much for that.